Uh, my name is not important, but I am from Oakland, California. How many of you have seen Fruitville Station? Yes. People have? Um, I know many of you are students. Many of you are going home for the holidays. Many of you will be spending them for your family. I don't know how many of you were at the vigil for Mike Brown, but all that I can find myself thinking of is that at this time, Michael would have been home eating dinner with his family, telling his mom of the cute girl in his class, of the new friends that he made, of the annoying person who always asked the professor when the next homework was due. And he was never given that chance, as so many are never given that chance because they are profiled and they are murdered and they are silenced. I'm here to ask you to remember. I want you to remember that the U.S. isn't the only place where incidences like these happen. I want you to remember that in the words of Angela Davis, this myth that black people did not resist until Watts or until Malcolm or until Martin Luther King and the Black Panther Party are not true. I want you to remember that reforming an institution founded on the murders of natives and built on the backs of African slaves is not a solution. It must be destroyed and recreated. I want you to remember that colorblindness is not a solution. Our ability to recognize, accept, and celebrate these differences is what is. I had a white friend say to me not too long ago, B, I don't, I don't see you as black. That is not a solution. But rather, we must realize that everyone is different, and it is those differences that we should celebrate, and they are neither better nor worse than each other. I want all of you to remember the name. I'm going to read an awful list of names of the people who were murdered or brutalized by police. Their names are Kamani Gray, Amadou Diallo, Sean Bell, Kendrick McDade, Tamir Rice, Renisha McBride, Eric Garner, John Crawford, Yvette Smith, Eleanor Bumpers, Ayana Stanley Jones, Tarika Wilson, Tanisha Anderson, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Rodney King, Trayvon Martin, Oscar Grant, Michael Brown. Michael, they tried to bury you, but they didn't know you were a seed. I'm going to be reading a poem by um, a woman who goes to Spelman College. It reads, Michael, they buried you, but they did not know you were a seed, and my brother, you have sprouted. You were planted when that life was taken from you, and you were watered by the tears of your mother, by the tears of your father, the tears of your sisters, your brothers. My tears have nurtured and cultivated them. Yes, my brother, you have sprouted. I am ready for the work. We are ready for the work. And I will take care of this brown. I will take care of this body that is your soil so that your flower will never die. They cannot pluck you as long as you are planted here within me. They cannot pluck you as long as you are planted in our souls. They will not take him away from us again. I can promise you that. And like all seeds that sprout into the beauty we deem flowers, you need protection, Michael. We will be that. We will be your protection, your safe keepers. You have joined our garden and your roots are intertwined with those of our foremothers and forefathers. Know that we are intertwined, united, rooted because of you and for you, my brother, Michael. They tried to bury you and they did not know you were a seed. So if you guys, I don't know if you want to, but if you can chant with me, hands up, don't shoot. And we're gonna do this for Michael. Okay, ready? Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot!